Hey YouTube, it's Michelada G up in the building. Um, I hope you guys have been having a great week so far. It's Monday, happy Monday. Um, I really wanted to start this video off with saying thank you so much for everybody who's been supporting me. Thank you to all my new subscribers. If you haven't um, met me yet, it's Michelada G up in the building. So, so for today's videos, you see the title, I'm gonna be talking about my crystals. And I'm really excited because I've always been into crystals and I've always been into spiritual um, journeys. I've always been into spiritualism and sage and all that stuff. So it's pretty interesting. So I want to say that this was my very first crystal right here. This right here, it's an amethyst, 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 amethyst or something like that. I'm not really sure. I got this at a rock show. I bought it for like 10 bucks or something like that. I'm not even sure, but... I think it's really pretty. It's got some flex on top. It's got the purple right here. And then um, my second crystal I have is this uh, unicorn horn. <laughs> it's not a unicorn horn, but it looks like it. And it's a selenite. Um, it's good for charging and cleansing. It's very beautiful and it's very, very powerful. When I was obsessed with this crystal, dude, when I say I was obsessed, I was obsessed. Like. Oh my god, you couldn't keep me. You wouldn't see me. I would take it to my clients' houses and everything. I love this crystal. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's been with me for a year now. Just a little tree. Be right back. Then I have this little tree right here. It's so pretty. I got this in Leavenworth at a gift shop. Not a gift shop, but it's like a crystal shop and jewelry and all that stuff. Isn't it so pretty? <laughs> I'm just trying to see if I can... You guys can see it. It's an assortment of so many. It looks like it's got like jade and moonstone and amethyst. And I don't know. It's got like a whole bunch of little guys right there. Even like the bottom. Like it, it looks so real. There's like this little tree and then it's got like little like stones down here too. I think it's really, really pretty. Dude, when I say I move this little tree around my house, I move it all around my house. I, it's always like, it's never in one spot. It's always around. I got this guy right here. It's a clear quartz. Dude, like, I didn't even know I needed a clear quartz until I was reading this book and I was reading, like, the internet and stuff. And turns out, like, you need to have clear quartz in your life because it's just gonna help you out. I would get into, like, the depth of it. I would tell you, like, whatever information and all that, but I'm not. I'm just gonna tell you the names and, like, maybe, like, talk to you, like, a little bit of it, but yeah. That's, I'm not gonna get into depth of it because I'm gonna sound like a geek. I'm gonna sound like a book or something like that. So yeah. It's different. See, clear quartz, it's clear. Like, it looks like glass, if you wanna say that. And then selenite, it's like white. You can't really see through it. Clear quartz. Clear quartz, selenite. Um, I have... A black tourmaline, tourmal tourmaline, black tourmaline. I like I like to hold it like this, and I'll just like, you know, I'm like <laughs> it's supposed to be for getting rid of negative energy, negative thoughts. Um, it's supposed to protect you. It's supposed to make you feel safe. The I will tell you fun fact about black tourmaline. Um, I thought when I looked at it, I thought it was obsidian, but then the tag said black tourmaline. I was like, what is black tourmaline? And I researched it. And I was researching it, and that's what it said, that it's supposed to protect you. It's supposed to get rid of negative thoughts and negative energies. And it's just supposed to, like, make you more self-aware of things. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I want this one. And so I went to pick it up. When I picked it up, a chunk came off. And I was like, I guess I'm buying it. And then turns out I did some research and I'll even like screenshot the article or something like that. I'll, I'll link the article down there, down under in the description box below. If a chunk falls off when the right person picks the crystal, this black tourmaline crystal, if a chunk falls off, it means like negative energy just came off of it. Like it already did its job and so I immediately bought it I was like I have to buy this like I don't know what this is I thought this was obsidian but I want it it's black tourmaline I don't know what it is but I want it and it turns out the more research I did this is like one of the most strongest crystals out there and it's very underrated like 
I said, I thought it was obsidian, but it's not. It's black tourmaline. I'll even link, I'll just write it down here below so you guys can understand because I learn something new every single day. And I hold it like this and I, um, <laughs> I just got done uh, cleansing it with brown rice. And so I'm excited. There's like a new moon coming out. The, the new moon phase already passed, but there's like a waning moon or waxing. I don't even know. I gotta figure it out. I gotta get my shit together. <laughs> oh my God. So have facial rollers so this is jade both of them are jade but this is a darker um, shade than this one and so I bought this one first and the bottom part for the eye it fell off um, I dropped it and it fell and it literally disappeared in my house it disappeared under the dishwasher forever so this house is like blessed or whatever so I'm I told my boyfriend to make it pretty for me so I got this and then I went and got this one because before I fixed it, I was like, it looked ghetto and everything. So I was like, I'm just going to get this one. And then um, also at the same time, I couldn't believe this was jade. I was like, this is jade? Like, why is it a different shade? And I don't know. Just the fact of literally if you put this in your skincare. So what I do is I, I roll it up just like this. And then I massage my face like that with where my eyebrow directions is. And let me tell you, my face has been soaking up the most out of my face mask. And like, um, I don't even know. I'm, I'm just speechless. Like, um, turns out a lot of uh, people do this. Like, they just massage their face. And it sounds like pathetic. It sounds like a little too extra. But trust me, literally, I felt like, I felt like the cheeks, like, like my cheeks relax. I felt it just feel better. I've like... Um, de-stress you know if you actually just take 15 minutes of your day while your skin care while you're doing your skincare you'll feel so much more better with these dude and I just they're worth it dude I saw this roller I saw it for like 35 bucks at the mall and I'd be buying these like low-key so <laughs> over here we got this uh, rose quartz tower isn't she so pretty? Oh my god, I love her. She's so, so pretty. You cannot see through this tower. It's crazy. So it's a rose quartz and it's supposed to um, promote self-love and healing and it's supposed to bring positive vibes and positive energies within yourself and to other people. This, this thing's big, dude. Like, I like. I want to have more rose quartz, but not too much. So let's get down to like my favorite. I have a favorite crystal that I don't really talk about, but I would appreciate it if you guys could geek out with me. Oh, by the wow way, I have pearls. And when I was getting into crystals, turns out pearls are, um, I have a pearl necklace and everything. And you guys seen it in my pictures and stuff, but pearls are crystals. Like that's crazy. And pearls, like, I don't know what it's supposed to do. I don't know like what, but pearls are crystals. So ever since I found that out, I've been having more pearls on me lately. My beautiful friend, she has a website and she has an Instagram dedicated to crystals. So I would love it if you guys could shop and from her and support her, support her business and um, tell her I sent you because she, I bought this, like it's so tidy. I bought this little, um, Cherry Blossom Agate Tower? Agate? 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 I have no idea, but it's Cherry Blossom. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it's supposed to represent, like, the, there's supposedly, like, cherry blossoms inside of it. Not supposedly, but I don't really know how to explain it. But I will, I will write down in the description box all of the crystals I show you. So, it's Cherry Blossom Agate, Agate, Agate. And it's supposed to help with self-love. It's supposed to help with self-growth, self-development, and um, security within your own self. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm talking, when I'm talking out loud, I just, I was raised in a very religious household growing up. So when I talk about like crystals and when I talk about like spiritualism or something like that, it's like a little too far-fetched. Like when I say it out loud, it sounds too much. It sounds like far, like it sounds like, like too much but it's really not I'm just not used to talking about my hobbies <laughs> so yeah 
it's a little intense out here and then um, I I bought this cherry blossom she gifted me Laramar it's like one of my favorite crystals ever that's how cute it is right here it's a good chunk Laramar comes from the Dominican Republic and my boyfriend for Christmas gifted me this Laramar right here this is so beautiful it's a necklace it's like more rare than diamonds I've been hearing so we got that going on right there and my very first Laramar piece um, my very first Laramar piece my sister bought it for me when I was like 13 or 12 years old and it's a bracelet it's so beautiful this is my very first crystal actually I lied about everything else like this is my first crystals like in a jewelry like in a bracelet I didn't even know they were crystals or anything like that. It's just like, like, I don't know what I thought. I was like, oh, it's like cool jewelry. Like, you know, it's from the world and stuff like that. But like growing up, people paid more attention to gold and silver and like, you know, like real like stones and stuff. So like they didn't really pay attention to, you know, like these little things, crystals. But crystals are becoming so popular now. It's crazy. Um, yeah. And then I got this little Laramar for myself for Christmas little guy right here and I'm gonna make him into a ring this is so pretty I'm gonna make it into the ring like this but like a ring I don't know if you can see that but yeah oh my god last but not least you guys give me one quick sec so last but not least for the um, crystals I bought myself a selenite wand it's like a little too big than what I can show you <laughs> um, and I customized it with these like with like this rope this leather I think it's leather I'm not sure but this like rope this teal rope and I have Amazon I have an Amazon parrot and so this is his feather and then um, my old bird he passed away and he was a macaw so I tied um, the feathers onto this wand and this is my wand I've always wanted a wand I've always wanted to be a witch and I've always wanted to like do stuff with herbs and like all that stuff and so when I found out that there's like wands out there I had to go get my own I had to like make it like my own version and all that stuff I wish that because like I had like more cameras but I don't this is like I traveled for an hour and a half for this crystal right here. It's so big. I don't see selenite crystals this big. And crystals that go for this big are very expensive. They're up in the hundreds of dollars. So they're up in the hundreds, you know? If you want to see the difference, this is like a, this looks pretty normal. And then this is big. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a selenite wand. It's the same as um, this unicorn guy. So I like to get my crystals from the Wishing Stone in Edmonds. And I got myself a little present for today. So cute. I'm gonna do it tonight, dude. I'm stressed the fuck out today. Oh my god. So stressed. So this is an Avalini shell. I hope you guys can see that. You see that right there? Ampelini shell and what people I saw people just put like they use it as like a jewelry holder and that's what I was originally gonna do because it's so pretty and I just it's like a little trending I guess but turns out people use Apolini shells for saging and so I bought this at the Otherwood Mall um, it's a sunflower sage isn't this so pretty Oh my gosh, Ugh. it smells divine. I was like, this is not just your typical saging. This is sunflowers. Like, can you, do you guys see that? I hope you guys can see it. I was like, what? See, it, it, it's like only two of them and that's it. So yeah, 
um, I'm gonna sage tonight. Video, I knocked over my camera set and the camera fell off and the ring light broke. I literally broke the ring light that my boyfriend bought me for my birthday. And, <laughs> and so I'm, I am stressed out. I'm gonna sage. I wish I could sage this in front of you, but I'm literally shaking and I'm kind of stressed out and I don't feel well. And I haven't smoked all day. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely, if you guys want me to sage for you and bless you guys, I will. But in another time, I will. Um, tell me why my boyfriend, he is like, oh, um, I get sick. Like, don't light up sage. And I'm like, because you got demons inside you, you stupid bitch. <laughs> so I can't wait to show this to my boyfriend when he gets home. He's going to, like, probably throw up and shit because he's got demons inside of him. So... I'll figure it out. <laughs> um, I'm gonna like, see, isn't it so cute? People set it up like this. I've seen my clients have them like that. Like, you know, like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. See, it's already perfect. I can't wait. It's already so perfect. I already know where I'm gonna put it on my vanity. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it on my vanity. I'm not even gonna put it like on my, in my bedroom vanity. I have two vanities. So I'm gonna put it in my living room vanity. And, um, because that's where, like, the most energy is. That's pretty much it for, like, all of my crystals. You know. I was like, I shouldn't do a crystal collection. I don't even have that much. But, I mean, we just getting started out here. Like, you know, I can't even fit. I can't even grab more because they don't fit. But, um... Yeah, this is my little small crystal collection, and um, I have an impressive collection. I was like, it's kind of small, my crystal collection, but it's pretty impressive. And, um, and, um, and, um, and, um, I have to stop doing that. So, um, and, um, <laughs> Yeah, I thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos, to comment, to give me feedback and support me sending my videos to other people to get me more subscribers. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. I really do appreciate that. And um, it's, a, it's a new year, so happy new year if I haven't said it already. I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. So yeah, um, turns out like something's happening out there. So I'm definitely gonna sage my house tonight. <laughs> um, let me know which one of my crystals was your favorite. Let me know if you have favorite crystals. Um, like I said, my favorite is Laramar and it can only be found in the Dominican Republic. And I'll definitely link more stuff down below. I'll put in some articles to help you guys out. Um, turns out selenite isn't water friendly don't run it underwater even though my boyfriend ran it underwater like um because he's like you have to cleanse the crystal because it's gonna absorb your energies and this and that and yeah just like put this under brown rice i'll definitely leave the articles down below what i'm talking about brown rice because there's gonna be a couple people be like what the fuck is she talking about so um yeah so um yeah uh take care um have a great monday hey. <laughs> when I upload this, it won't even be Monday anymore. But yeah, have a great night and stay safe out there. Take care. Bye. <laughs>